Salim's wife, Tehmina's family owned a small cottage in Kihim, a coastal village to the south of Mumbai. Who was Salim's wife? Salim's wife was Tehmina. Tehmina's family owned. Owned means possessed. Possessed means kept. Tehmina's family kept a small cottage. Cottage means house. In which place? It was in Kehim. Salim's wife, Tehmina's family, owned a house in a place called Kehim. It was a coastal village. Coastal village means a village which will be nearby a sea or an ocean is called as coastal village. Kihim was a coastal village, means it was nearby a sea or an ocean. To the south of Mumbai, where was that village situated? It was to the south of Mumbai. Tehmina was Salim's wife. Her family owned a small house in Kihim that was a coastal village to the south of Mumbai. The young couple moved there. Salim and his wife moved there. He was working as a guide lecturer. He lost the job because he did not have a college degree. He had to search for another job. So, Salim and his wife moved to Kehim. Kehim was green and full of birds. Kehim was a nice place because it was green. It was green means many plants were there. It was filled with plants and trees. Because of that, it was full of birds. This kept Salim Ali occupied with his favorite hobby. Which was his favorite hobby? Watching birds was his favorite hobby. This village, Kihim, since it was green and full of birds, kept him occupied, always involved in his hobby. Don't take a job. Tehmina advised him if you can't enjoy it. What did Tehmina advise? Tehmina advised him not to take a job if he didn't enjoy it. Whatever the job we do, we need to enjoy it. If we don't enjoy it, we cannot do that job. We cannot get the satisfaction. We cannot have our growth. For that reason, Tehmina advised him not to take a job if he didn't like it. He liked to watch the birds. So, he had to do one of the jobs which is related to that, watching the birds. Let's see what does he do. Which had never been done before. Studying about birds systematically was not done before. So, he wanted to study systematically about the birds. He went with that plan to BNHS in 1930. He did not want a salary, only expenses for these ornithological service. Did he want salary for that? He didn't even want the salary to study about the birds systematically. But he had to spend some money to study about it, to do some survey. So, he expected only expenses. For these ornithological surveys. Ornithological means to study about the birds. Surveys to study about the birds. For the next 20 years, he roamed the subcontinent, studying birds from Kutch to Sikkim and Afghanistan to Kerala, weaving history 
ecology and geography into his description of birds and their habitat. How many years did he study? He studied for 20 years. He roamed the subcontinent. What's the meaning of subcontinent? Subcontinent means it is smaller than a continent. It is smaller than a continent. Maybe it is a part of a continent. What is it? It may be a part of a continent. He roamed the subcontinent. Studying birds from Kutch to Sikkim. He roamed from Kutch. Kutch is a place in Punjab place in Punjab. So, he started to roam from Punjab to Sikkim and Afghanistan to Kerala. You can imagine how much he had travelled to study about the birds. Weaving history, ecology and geography. Weaving means weaving means intermixing. What is weaving? Intermixing. Intermixing, history, ecology and geography. Ecology means, ecology means the study of plants and living creatures. It is the study of plants and living creatures to each other. He travelled to different places, weaving history, ecology and geography into his description of birds. He described about birds. When he described about birds, he intermixed history, ecology and geography also. Habitat means the natural home. What is habitat? Habitat means natural home or environment of an animal or environment of an animal, bird, plant, etc. So, he described about birds and their habitat. Did you understand this paragraph, children? How did he study? How many years did he study? Where did he go to study that? What sacrifice did he do for that? Did you get it? He went to BNHS in 1930 to study systematically about the birds. He did not want salary. He wanted only expenses. He studied for 20 years by roaming in different places from Kutch to Sikkim and from Afghanistan to Kerala. He described about birds and their habitat by weaving history, ecology and geography. Shall we go to the next paragraph? In 1941, he published the Book of Indian Birds. He studied for 20 years by roaming in different places. Then what did he do? He wrote a book. He published that book in 1941. Name of that book was The Book of Indian Standards. The Book of Indian Standards was published in 1941. That was the first book he wrote. And it gave a sudden success. Instant means sudden. It gave a sudden success to him, the first of many instant success. He had written many books and this was the first book. It gave a sudden success and also other books gave the success to him. It's royalties. What is royalty? If he sold one book, 
he would get some amount. If he sold many books, he would get the amounts for those books. That was called as royalties. Its royalties enabled him to repay his old business debts. What was his old business? He was working in What was his old business? He was doing timber and wool from business. At that time, he had some debts. Debts means he had to give some amount to some people. He had taken some amount from other people. So, he had to clear that debt. He could not do it before. After writing books, he got the royalties and it enabled him, it made him to repay the amount. Repay means payback. By 1960, the man who had once been rejected for a government job for want of a degree was guiding PhD scholars. Why did he lose his guide lecturer job? He lost it because he did not have a degree. But the same man by 1960 was working as a guide for PhD scholars. By 1960, the man who had once been rejected for a government job for want of degree was guiding PhD scholars. He was not taken for a government job because he did not have a degree. Now, since he studied about the Indian birds systematically, he wrote many books. Those books were successful. He started guiding PhD scholars. Did you understand up to this children? I will summarize once. When Salim Ali was 10 years old, he found a strange looking sparrow. He took that sparrow to Bombay Natural History Society. That sparrow had a yellow line below its neck. BNHS identified it as a yellow-throated sparrow and the secretary of that BNHS showed the boy the society's vast stuffed bird collection. By seeing that bird collection, he was attracted to study about the birds. In school, he was not studying that much. He left the college. He started to do the business with his brother. That business was a timber and wall from business. But after few years, the business collapsed. He came back from Burma to Mumbai to work as a guide lecturer. He worked there for two years. But his interest was to study about the birds. So, he went to Berlin University Zoological Museum to study about the birds. When he returned from Mumbai, his job had been cancelled. There was no chance for him to get a government job because he did not have a college degree. So, they went to a village called Kihem. Tehmina said him not to work if he was not interested to work in any of the jobs. So, he went to BNHS. He wanted to study regarding the birds systematically. He proposed it there. They accepted it. He did not expect the salary. He expected only the expenses to survey regarding the birds. He worked for 20 years to know about the birds. He roamed in different places from Kutch to Sikkim and Afghanistan to Kerala. He wrote many books. The first book was The Book of Indian Birds which was written in 1941. His books gave success to him and also it gave good amount to him. He cleared all his debts. And he also got a job to guide PhD scholars.